Hello kids, Steve coming back at you for Saturday morning cartoons. I hope you all have a great week and I hope today is even better for you. And tomorrow I'm going to anticipate is going to be a fabulous Sunday. So let's get right into it today. Instead of opening packs, I'm going to show you my packs of the 80s, all non-sport. So let's start off with Stupid Smiles, an unopened tops pack there. Pretty interesting. I like them. And it's part of the PC, as is Back to the Future 2. As you can tell, all my older wax packs or something worth a little money, I will team bag up just for safekeeping. New Kids on the Block. Little funny thing here, I did see them in concert on accident. In high school, I was a huge Tiffany fan because I do all the time. I think I'm alone now. They were the opening act for her. No one knew who the hell they were, and they did not get a good response from the crowd. We have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the cartoon series. That's always desirable. And why not? you got to have Batman. All new second series. No idea of why I don't have a first series. I may somewhere in there, but we'll find out. Ghostbusters 2, the Smash movie. Speaking of that, Hulk Smash, that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and ring the bell for notifications if you are interested in a lot of my videos, including Takeover Tuesdays with my brother John. Growing Pains, I remember this show, that was pretty cool. His boy now, Elm Thick's boy Robin, kind of a crazy guy, especially with that video he did of Blurred Lines, the uncensored version, where he got sued by one of the girls that appeared in their topless, is accusing him, or did, a couple years ago, of sexual assault. I'm sorry, you're naked. And unfortunately, Elm Thick has passed a couple of years ago. Our next handful here, we have the ever-famous 25 cents, Dinosaur Attacks. There's different pack variants of this, so hopefully when I get my next order this coming week, I will have completed that set of four. We have Elf, we have Elf, and we get to look for the Bully Baseball card insert set, which are just kind of goofy but fun. Oh, and speaking of Elf, there's Series 2. Again, desirable cards because people remember that from childhood. Just like who framed Roger Rabbit. Who had the star of the movie, the hottest cartoon ever. Jessica. And who could ever forget the evil bad guy in that. Christopher Lloyd, another awesome part for him. Johnny Depp's rookie card is in 21 Jump Street, along with Peter DeLuise, the son of Dom DeLuise. WWF Wrestling for WrestleMania 3. These packs, surprisingly, are expensive on eBay, and if you want an OPG one of these per pack, they're going to run you close, if not more than $50 a pack. Insane for the OPG. Harry and the Hendersons. We have Grossville High. Very fun. And Feed Me Seymour. Little Shop of Horrors. With Rick Moranis and Steve Martin. Here we go. We have Garbage Pail Kids. The 6th series. We have an unopened pack of the fifth series. Not to be outdone, we do have a fourth series. 
I do have multiples of a lot of this stuff, so eventually I will even be opening them for you on camera, including I have duplicates of the third series. Plus, I have three rack packs of the third series. One with um, Roybot showing, which is very cool, and one with Joe Blow. Very desirable. This is my most expensive wax pack of anything including sports, non-sports, and pseudo-sports I've ever paid for. $37.09 got Max Headroom shipped me because it was a test issue by Tops. Very, very few of them are out there, period. Cindy Lauper, who could ever forget Shebop. And girls do just want to have fun. We have Baby. I'm going to put Baby in the corner right now. Flop of a movie, now a cult classic, Supergirl. And yeah, I had to get a Fleer pack of Glitter Glove. They're the Michael Jackson cards that Fleer decided to put out. Didn't want to, but it's part of my collection. We have Indiana Jones from the original movie there with Harrison Ford. And from the hit TV show, this is cool. Got the A-Team, got the one with Mr. T or B.A. Baracus on it. Have another Fleer pack, 1983, Fleer Goes Mad. These are fun cards, and I have several of these unopened. I would like to open more of. We got a non-wax pack, 1983, Jaws, 3D, with 3D glasses. See, right there, 3D viewer, they call them. We have Superman 3. You've seen me open probably 20 or 25 packs on the way to making my set, which I did, and the black borders on these came out incredible shape, corners, sides, and well centered. That surprised me. I'm very happy with that set. Dark Crystal. I believe that was a Jim Henson movie with a lot of Muppets and stuff in there. E.T. It's hard to find one, at least I couldn't, cheap enough without a sticker. But I figure Osco is cool. I believe they are out of business and they only cost 30 cents. How about the last couple here at the 7 minute 45 second mark? We have MASH from 1982 from Donruss. I have a whole box of these with the poster intact. Here's Bo, all about Bo Derek and her career up until 1981 when those came out by Fleer. Still don't know who shot JR. But there's our good old Larry Hagman on a Dallas pack. We have Raiders of the Lost Ark. Another Harrison Ford. We have Fleer and Pac-Man. Now this one's interesting. I opened one of these and it was full of Dukes of Hazard. This is one of those Donruss Mystery Packs. Not 100% sure who's in there. Let me take a quick look, see if I can figure it out. Now, you can see a little bit, but not enough to make out what is in there. But I have one. And finally, a wax pack that's not wax. It is paper. It is five years older than when the movie came out. From 1980, the Rocky Horror Picture Show paper pack, and they sealed it in the factory with just a little piece of tape. These are really crisp cards, great shots, and the header card is the lips. Real quick, let's go through the ones that don't have dates on them. I, mean, I know where they belong, but they don't have any dates, which is interesting. I have the awesome all stars. Put that back in there. Followed by skateboard stickers and bubblegum. 
We have a Dick Tracy produced by Disney, not Tops. Very interesting. Never opened it. Don't know if it's from the movie, from the comic strip, from the old, old show or the radio show or just what. But there's no date. Product of Australia. So I thought that was pretty unique to go along with a Tops from the movie, Dick Tracy. Go ahead. Get yourself a Madonna rookie card. We have Fool Your Friends with Nasty Tricks. Made by Fun Stuff. How about The Rocketeer? That was a horrible movie, and it never became a cult classic. And rightfully so. We have BMX Bikes in a wax pack. And finally today, we have Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Look, you can look for and win original props from the movie and look for the golden ticket card. There, it tells about that. Very interesting, very fun. No date. I do have a few of those. I've actually opened a couple already. We'll probably open some more. Next time, we will go through the 80s and 2000s. Just the ones I felt were worthy of making up. Kind of like this one here from, I believe, it's Iowa. Yep, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Made some company, made a set of Frantics collector card. Got a monkey playing the bongos. We have Robocop, More Ninja Turtles, Toxic High, Hook. I do see Andy Griffith, I Love Lucy. All kinds of stuff. So we'll save that for later. But guys, thank you for joining me. Make sure on April 23rd at noon central, you tune in for Rippin' for Rookies. Huge baseball card sale and auction with another Hollis build. Beast and the Beauty card breaks. Mass Midwest Sports. We have Big Ray. He might even tell a few jokes. Who knows? Or at least a couple of droll stories. Good to try to get others to join. Like myself, after I am done bowling, where I may feel a slightly under the weather. Hopefully we can get the origami folder to join us. He may not sell. He may buy. Maybe he'll join on camera and at least talk about some of his cards. And we've got a lineup for you guys, so tune in for that. Otherwise, be excellent to each other always. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And above all else, peace.